Yep, that's me. I don't know what my hair is doing. I haven't washed it in four days. I've showered, I just haven't washed my hair in four days. If you're a girl, you get it. Also, I stabbed my gum with a tortilla chip. So if you see my gums bleeding, mind your own business. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Still don't have an intro. I'm probably just gonna keep saying that until I come up with something. Today's video is gonna be a good old fashioned q and A. I I feel like I haven't done one in a while, so that's what we're doing. And it's nice because I can actually read the questions off of my phone because I don't have to film on my phone anymore. So we're just gonna um, get on into it. I had you send me questions on Instagram and Tumblr, and then I posted on YouTube asking for questions, but I don't know how to look at the responses. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how. Um, I guess we'll start with Instagram. I'm not gonna mention anybody's names. Some people said they don't want their questions read with their name, so I'm just not gonna put anybody's name in them. Yeah, let's get this party started. Are you going to New York for release week? I was going to, but I'm not anymore. How many songs have you written in total? I tallied this up a while ago. Easily over 100. Easily over 100. Because I think it was at least 100 when I tallied last summer, and I've written many songs since last summer. So... A lot. What's your favorite TV show? TV show that's on right now, um, I've been watching The Bachelor. I used to be really into The Bachelor and then I got out of it because I thought it was stupid. Um, and then I got hooked again thanks to my friend Nicole. So Nicole, if you're watching this, love you. So I've been hooked, hooked on it this season because I love Hannah B. I think she's incredible. I just, I fucking love her. Like she just gives no fucks. The show I like is a show called Songland. It's about songwriters. Obsessed with that show. I don't really watch like live TV. Oh, I watched Manifest when it was on. I think that comes back soon. But like if I had to choose like out of everything, like my all time favorite show, New Girl. New Girl is the love of my life and it makes me happy no matter what. Freestyle. Sarah. Listen, I'm saying Sarah's name because she'd always ask me to freestyle. I can't, like I physically can't freestyle. The only thing I can rap, I can rap Nicki Minaj's verse and Bottoms Up, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. Collab you want featured on Lover. Honestly, like I was about to say Brendan Urie, but like they actually collaborate, so I don't really need anything else in my life because Taylor Swift and Brendan Urie now have a song together. But I would like love Troy Sivan. Any advice to gain self-confidence? I'm always so anxious about what people think because I got and sometimes still get bullied for a lot. First of all, I'm really sorry that you're being bullied. It's hard for me to give advice on self-confidence because for being real here, I'm probably the most insecure right now that I've ever been in my entire life. I really feel you with the whole being insecure thing because it's very easy. Because you, you look in the mirror and you see yourself one way, and then when you're in a big group of people, it's very easy to just think that everybody else sees what you see. Maybe just try to remember that you see yourself in a completely different light than how other people see you and nobody actually sees you as the things that you call yourself when nobody's listening. Did that makes sense? I hope that made sense. Just don't listen to what they're telling you. You have put up this wall between you and them because what they're saying is not worth your time and is not who you are. Hey, sinner. Hey, what is your skincare routine? I actually just posted a skincare routine video. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll link that down below. I'm also trying out this brand right now called Free Girl Skincare. Um, they're not paying me to say anything good. Um, right now I'm just trying it out. So far I actually like it. It is on the more expensive side. It is like, I would say very luxurious. But right now I'm trying out their, their cream cleanser and their moisturizer. I'll link it down below. And I do have a code if you guys want to try it out. Um, it's lizb20, I believe, so I'll put my discount code on the screen if you guys want to use it and check it out. Favorite songs at the moment. Body by Julia Michaels. Easy Tiger by Billy... Billy... I don't want to say his last name wrong. Changed by Katie Turner. Same Room by J.P. Sachs. I'll put some others on the screen right now. I'll just enjoy the songs that I'm going to list up here. Now let's go to Tumblr. I think there's more on Tumblr because people want to stay anonymous. When do we get new music? Not to press you. I'm just excited to hear more. And then somebody else also asked, would you consider releasing an EP? I'll start with the EP question. So I think I finally know what I want to do EP wise. I've been battling what I want to do like EP album, EP album. I've been battling that so long. I'm very, very indecisive. I spent the longest time trying to figure out how I wanted to release this new music. I think I finally know what I want to do. I think I'm just going to do three EPs that consist of like five, six songs, probably like five. I think I finally know what I want the first one to be. It is not recorded yet. Two of the songs are fully finished. 
two of them need just like a little bit of like lyric adding and changing and then one I have not written yet but I know it's something that I need to write for the EP to be complete. There are two songs that I want to put out as singles. One would be on the first EP and then one would just be to release. So yeah I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do. Um, it's hard for me to record and my anxiety is really bad and my anxiety has been really bad so I apologize but yeah I'm trying. I'm gonna try to get the ball rolling on that and start getting my shit together just it's not that I don't have new music I have so much new music I just it's hard for me to figure out how I want to release it I'm sorry thank you guys for being patient and caring I'm working on it I got you what are you gonna do when grieving hits a million streams if it ever hits a million streams I think I would just legitimately I think I would just drop dead and combust I haven't checked it in a few days let me let's see what it's at I am obsessed with the Spotify for artists app It's literally the best thing ever holy fuck Okay, it has 553,168 streams. What? In the last 28 days, it's been streamed 73,000 times. What was it like to film the music video for Grieving? It was very cool and like very interesting and fun. My I had really bad anxiety for a lot of it, not because of anything like with the people of the music video, just because as we know, I've said it before, my anxiety has been really bad. It was so much fun. Everybody was seriously incredible and the directors, Dylan and Molly, just really took everything that was inside my brain and helped me like get it out. And they just put it all into like, visuals it was incredible like i loved it so much it was really surreal because i never filmed like an actual music video before i'd only ever filmed like like music videos to like hannah montana and like the cheetah girls and all-star weekend like on a flip camera when i was like 10 with my best friends i've never done like a real music video so having to like act and like lip sync my own song in front of people i didn't know was kind of weird because i'm awkward but it was insane and I would do it again, um, especially with them. I'm really glad that my first like music video experience was with video now because they're incredible. I'm gonna link their stuff down below too because I love them. How many Taylor Swift concerts have you been to? I have to count. Okay, Speak Now Tour, Red Tour, CMA Fest, 1989 Tour, 1989 Tour, 1989 Tour, Super Saturday Night, Rep, Chicago Rep Detroit kind of I had to leave in the middle of it like nine times. How old are you? I am 22 by Taylor Swift. I would insert that music here, but I don't want to get copyrighted But it's my Taylor Swift year, but I'm also nervous because like it's already July and which means it's almost August and then August is close to October, October is close to December and then I'm like, oh my god, like this year's almost over and then when this year's over, it's January, my birthday is the 7th of January and then I'm gonna be 23 and it just really stresses me out because I'm scared of getting older. Have you ever been noticed by Taylor? I have. I've been lucky, very lucky to have been noticed by Taylor. Last week, I posted a stupid video of me being an idiot to the Rocky theme song and she reblogged it on Tumblr and was like, I love you. And then like in the hashtags, she was like a hero. And I cried. I love her so much. How long have you been a Swifty for? I think the first music video I ever saw was a teardrop on my guitar video. What year was that? It's been over a decade. It got, I'd say it got more, I think it like amped up more when I figured out what like Stan Twitter was. And I made, joined Stan Twitter in 2011. Oh, we have some boy questions. Okay. <coughs> Honestly, that's how I feel about boys. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I'm very single. <laughs> Advice on making the first move on a guy. I don't make the first move ever. Like if I like somebody, I'm probably, the chances of me doing something about it are very, very slim because I don't like to initiate things, you know? I think I'm just like scared of rejection maybe i also just assume that like nobody's ever gonna like me back because i just assume the worst okay i'm gonna tell you guys a story and i'm saying it because i think it's funny but if the guy is watching this then it's over for me if you're watching there's this cute boy right 
and I was like wow like he's really cute and really really nice like I want to talk to him and so Teresa and my friend were like so just fucking talk to him and I was like mm, I can't do that and I was like listen I really want to talk to him but I don't know how to talk to him and so I was texting Teresa and my friend and I was like how do I get him to talk to me because I don't want to initiate it and Teresa was like stalk his like Spotify or like something like that and figure out a band he likes and then post about the band on your story and then he'll respond to it and I was like oh my god Teresa that's genius god, I really hope he's not watching this I went on his Instagram and I found a band that he liked and I listened to their music and I posted one of the songs on my story and it actually ended up working out well because the band is incredibly good like I actually really really like their music and it worked because he messaged me the conversation was short-lived but it did work so um ask Teresa for advice I'm pathetic I really hope he's not watching that Okay, anyway, next question. Do you produce your own music? If so, how do you do it? That's the last one. Nice to meet you was literally just a voice memo from my phone. Um, I didn't do anything to it, and you can tell because at the beginning there's a chair like creaking in the beginning, and I hate it so much. I cringe so bad. Like, like I don't listen to my own music, but nice to meet you specifically, I hate that song. No offense if you like it. Thank you for liking it. I can't, I can't do it. The song you asked for, my friend said that the piano, I did the vocals on a very shitty Amazon mic and garage band added a little bit of reverb only did one take and listening back I'm like bitch you could have done so much better mm -hmm. unlovable I think I used the same shitty Amazon mic in my guitar um, grieving I used a better mic like a, I think it was like a toner BM70 mic or something like that and I recorded my guitar with an interface. I, I used the Scarlet Solo and then I sent the vocals to a guy named Phil Sweeney and he's the guy that produced Grieving and Can Get Off My Mind. But he produced those. But usually when I'm producing my own stuff, I use Logic Pro. I recently got Logic. And I have like a MIDI keyboard now. Um, I have the Akai MIDI MPK, I believe is what it's called. I have my Taylor guitar and that hooks into my recording interface. And then the microphone I use is the Rode and T1A. That was all your questions. I think I got them all. Yeah, I think that was all your questions. Thank you guys for taking the time to send me questions and for keeping up with me. It means a lot. If I missed your question by chance, I'm really sorry. Yeah, if you guys like Q&As, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter for like in the future for if I do any more Q&As because that's typically where I ask for questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you with my whole heart and I will see you in my next video. Bye.